Uh, Josh, you're back from Alice Springs. Tell us about uh, what you got up to there. Yeah, I went to the Pachama Festival. It's the Indigenous festival, uh, festival that they run up in um, Alice Springs. Um, they just showcase um, some Indigenous art from the locals and uh, also uh, sat in front of some people and shared a bit about my story and um, yeah, had an awesome time. Did a lot of things. Um, I'm definitely going to um, go up there in the near future, yeah. So that's important for yourself with your culture to get back and, and see out in the, the Red Centre what, what was going on? Yeah, it is. Um, you know, it's something I look forward to. Um, you know, like giving back to people, like sharing my story. Um, if it's going to help someone in the crowd or anyone that's listening, um, then it's, it's going to make my day. So um, I try and give back as much as I can. And um, you know, I'm extremely thankful for the Melbourne Storm too to give me the time off. And um, you know, I was meant to take the, the Premiership trophy up there, but um, some stuff happened. So um, that, that was pretty, um, yeah, pretty upsetting. So. But it is what it is. <laughs> now, leading on to something a bit different, the Storm Burger. Now, we've seen that you're one of the massive fans of Grill. Tell us about that. Yeah, I am. I've been a, uh, a, a Grilled fan for a number of years now. And um, as well, she said, we were at um, Grilled Headquarters uh, designing the burger. Um, and yeah, what am I? <laughs> you're the beef patty. Yeah, I'm on the beef patty. Am I? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, absolutely love me Grilled Burgers. I. Um, I almost eat it every day. Yeah, we've seen you after games. You've, uh, you've got to have a bit of a refill. How many do you knock through after a game? I eat about two. Yeah. About two, yeah. They're, they're really good after games. Um, we usually get pizzas, but I don't really like the pizzas. Uh, but ever since getting the grill, it's been good. Now, is the Stormburger going to take over as your favourite? What's your favourite? Yeah, definitely. My, my, my favourite was this uh, Simply Grill, but the Stormburger now, it's lovely. Trot. <laughs> <laughs> um, onto the Roosters game. They've been scoring a heap of tries, those guys. So you're going to have a big job ahead of you over on your side of the field this weekend. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, these are the games you sort of want to play. Um, you know, just to see where your team's at. And Roosters have been of uh, they've been of um, you know they've been a uh, you know dominant side for the last couple of years now. And um, you know, it's definitely going to be a tough challenge down here in Melbourne. And um, yeah, it's going to be good. So Morris is got 11 tries for the year. Can you stop him this week? Oh, I've got to do my best, eh? Uh, I need the forwards to do a bit of kick pressure and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, he, he's been a consistent player for a number of years now and sort of looked up to him as a, you know, as a winger, I suppose. And, um, you know, he's just goes to show age, age doesn't matter um, these days. It's, um, you know, he's killing it. So when you look at him at age 35, do you think oh, I've got another 10 years or so left in this game? <laughs> I like to think so. Um, yeah, that's a that's an incredible you know, feat. I think we're at, what fifth what fifth round and he scored 11 tries. That's that's crazy, man. It's I, I think it just goes to show how fast the game the game's going and um, you know, how many opportunities um, you know, players get to score tries now. You know, so um, you know, even rookies are scoring tries as many tries as I can remember. So yeah, it is tough. So you always like to set your sights on trying to be the top try scorer this year. Hey, he's got a big lead on you early on. Are you going to be able to catch that up? Yeah, I don't know. I don't really, um, don't really think about being the top try scorer. I suppose I just, if my teammates in a better better position than me, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely pass the ball. So I just just play my role the very best I can, and and it, and it sort of um, helps the team. Over on the other side of the field, George Jennings is really starting to make a home for himself over on that uh, right wing. Yeah, definitely, Georgie. Um, me and Georgie were stuck up in Lenny's head for a, for a couple of weeks there, and we were training really hard up there. So, um, yeah, it was good to get to know Georgie. We're, we're both from Sydney, and um, you know, it's it's good to see that you know, the, the hard work he's um, you know paying off, um, and it's an absolute pleasure playing with him. I know the boys love playing with him, um, and the biggest thing is that he's, he, he loves to learn. So. Um, and he's competing for us, so yeah, it's such a pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I was too busy arguing with my mum. I accidentally ran past her. She, um, I thought I seen her um, over in the corner, and I went over there and I thought she left. And then um, she, apparently she was right next to the, um, the tunnel, and I ran straight past her, and <laughs> I didn't get to see anyone. So um, yeah, mum kicked me up the bum. <laughs> <laughs> and then just on the roosters again, obviously you've had some, you know, really tough battles. Um, with the, the drop goal that Pat's kicked last season. Are you expecting something similar again, especially at Abbey Park? You'd want to, you'd want to really um, put him to the dirt, so to speak. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, the roosters have been a, a quality side for a number of years now, and 
I think they're down on troops. So, um, they've got good depths um, in the back line, so and in the forward in the forward pack. So um, yeah, it's going to be a tough challenge, but I know the boys are going to be up for it. And um, you know, you sort of want to play against these teams just to see where your team's at. So um, it's going to be a good game Friday night. Hey, you got on the score sheet. Um, I think it was two weeks ago, not because of getting over the line. You managed to put one through the stick. Um, can we expect something similar in the coming weeks? Or is yeah, that I, tr idea? I tried to tip Paps up after I scored the try on the weekend, um, but he just refused to give me the ball. But yeah, I would love to kick two points again. <laughs> Vote for the sideline. <laughs>